cartridge bearings are everywhere you look on modern bikes. In the wheels, bottom brackets, headsets, pulleys, and even unexpected places like shifters and brake levers. Chances are good that those bearings were made in Asia, and there's also a good chance that at least some of them will wear the Enduro brand name. Enduro does make most of its bearings overseas, but not all of them. The top end XD15 range is made from start to finish in the United States, and Bike Radar recently paid the company a visit to see how it's done. Enduro buys the raw materials for its XD15 bearing races from a company in France. The special steel is supposedly not only super hard, but also extremely corrosion resistant. Plus, the microstructure of the material is apparently so finely grained and uniform that it lasts far longer than other bearing races, a critical feature when those races are paired with silicon nitride ceramic balls. Enduro receives the XD15 materials in 6 meter long rods, which are then cut down to more manageable 1 meter long pieces and transferred to the company's machining facility in nearby Hollister, California. Here, each inner and outer race is individually milled, along with the aluminum cups many of those bearings will be pressed into later, and even the tools required to service them. The process doesn't end there though. From here, the races take a trip to a local heat treatment facility where they're cooked in a secret recipe of temperature and time and emerge from the oven red hot, later followed by cryogenic treatment reaching temperatures as low as minus 180 degrees Celsius. According to Enduro, this heat treatment process greatly reduces the chances of micro cracking under load, preventing the services from deteriorating over time and helping to ensure the desired performance levels long term. After heat treating, the races head back to Hollister, where that blackened crust is machined off and the parts take on their final dimensions. It's only then that the grade 3 silicon nitride ceramic balls are popped into their plastic retainers and everything is assembled by hand. Why even bother with domestic US manufacturing though when Enduro already does the lion's share of its production in Asia with partners it knows and trusts? According to Enduro, the XD15 line simply demands more exacting tolerances, plus the material is finicky enough that most companies just won't want to deal with it. Either way, you should be happy that Enduro goes through the trouble. If our experience with the XD15 bottom bracket is anything to go by, this is just about as good as it gets.